Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to our Teaming Up to Grow Revenue webinar. My name is Jackie Ulloa and I'm with Metro's Client Services team. And presenting with me today are Daryl Davis, VP of Creative Services and Laura Cook, Senior Designer. I just want to mention uh, the webinar today is being recorded and will be emailed to everyone tomorrow, along with some helpful information. So make sure you do look out for that. It is coming in via Zoom. And during the webinar, we are going to pause our videos for just a little bit, but we'll be back. And we hope that you guys all enjoy today's presentation. Thank you. Okay, Daryl, and if you're ready, I will go ahead and turn things over to you. Go ahead. Thanks, Jackie. Sure. Thanks, Jackie, and thanks for joining us today for a 30-minute look at teamwork. It certainly seems obvious, but worth repeating, that the benefits of teamwork and collaboration are huge. Bringing together people with different backgrounds, experiences, insights, perspectives can only enhance your team dynamic. Whether you're using a local creative team, a central production site, or an outsourcer. All the same team principles apply. While we've all heard the expression two heads are better than one, sometimes it can be three heads, four heads. Team communication can increase productivity up to 25%. Research shows that small teams can take advantage of more agile thinking and better communication. Today's fast-moving market demands effective teamwork. Double and triple checks increase accuracy and increase quality while decreasing errors. Teams are better able to plan ahead for work projects, understand each member's role, and estimate the time needed to complete tasks, which is vital in our deadline-oriented workplace today. Ultimately, teams create better ideas, maintain a higher morale, are more productive, reduce stress and produce higher quality work. Our teamwork at Metro successfully creates tools for your company's teamwork. Earlier this year at Metro, we ran a best of the best contest. Let's take a look at a recent winning project from one of our customers. Focusing on a Breast Cancer Awareness Month special section, Christy Leone, Creative Director at Featured Media, wanted to show support for breast cancer awareness and provide important information for readers. The sales team at the Genesee Valley Penny Saver targeted a well-known large-scale advertiser, reaching out with a spec of the four-week series. All the advertiser had to do was provide a logo. Their creative team used graphics and editorial from Metro for the four-week run. The lead-in page ran together with the Im information pages, making this a two-page article in all of their editions for the entire four-week run. It was well-received in the community. The advertiser herself was a breast cancer survivor. And the Genesee Valley Penny Saver will run this annually in October, updating their content and providing local resource information. It was so successful that they've replicated the effort for a similar Veterans Day promotion. That was, you know, that was a really great um, layout from the Genesee Valley Penny Saver. Um, the look was very consistent in the style and that was a really uh, good job well done. Um, we also have an entirely new breast cancer awareness and prevention theme special section that's available now. Our creative editorial and art department really work together as a team to create these sections. Um, we produce, we have been producing three a month for the 2023 calendar year. Our full sections have 20 pages with approximately 14 articles that are already laid out for you. Um, we create an original cover for each section and even create the sections in two sizes, a tabloid size and a magazine size. And with both of these sizes, we think you can you know, appropriately scale to whatever um, size you use in your newsprint. You can edit our sections as you need. You can delete art articles. Um, you can edit the articles to fit your community's needs, and you can even add pages. 
We also include advertiser suggestions next to each article, um, making the suggestions based on the content of that article. So you can check out our um, special section on this important topic. And currently we are running a special offer for our breast cancer awareness and prevention special section. It's only $95. It's a really popular section. And if you guys are interested in checking it out, you can preview it in its entirety as long as you're logged in uh, to the theme sections area. And if you have any questions regarding the section or would like to order, uh, please just let me know. I wanna give you a little look behind the curtain of our office and how we all work together as a team to create the most valuable content for our customers. So our sales department, customer service, art, editorial, copywriting and design, all of our departments are constantly sharing ideas to create that content for you. For sales, we've got industry news and conferences, keeping informed, going to conferences, connecting with our clients and sharing info learned on those sessions keeps us all on the same page, along with relaying client feedback and any news on what's trending. Uh, for customer service, we've got requests and client support. And what I found over the years is pretty straightforward. Good customer service means being responsive to our customers and quick replies are definitely a plus. Communicating our customers' needs clearly with our team is also key. For example, I work along with Bethany and Sonia and anytime our customers take the time to share their feedback or request specific content, we always relay it to our Metro team. And because of that, we are able to follow up on those requests. Metro's art and photo departments work closely with our editorial department to bring dynamic and effective content for everyday use, print, web, mobile. We're also on top of trending subjects. For instance, this summer, Barbie took uh, the nation by storm, so we made sure to include some pink elements for ad composition and accompanying uh, promotions. For instance, the Maui wildfires that just occurred, we provided graphics for fundraising efforts. And now with Adalia, the hurricane in Florida, we've got content for advertising needs or informational needs with respect to the hurricane. Something's always happening and we're always on it. Um, so we do cover trending styles, top retailer specific art, always responsive to hot topics, but always creating everyday, usable, evergreen content, uh, again, that you can use daily. And our copywriters and designers are staying on top of advertising styles and trends. Um, there are new buzzwords all the time that we wanna incorporate into our, our ads. Um, and then our designers are laying out pages and ads with current design aesthetics in mind, but we're also making sure we are utilizing, you know, newspaper specifications, thinking about how things will not only look on the screen, but also in newsprint. We are always sharing our ideas through emails. Customer service always sends us any requests or needs from customers immediately, and we try to fill those as fast as possible. Um, we also have department meetings to hash out new ideas and how to implement them so we're all on the same page. This is how we bring our ideas together, and I think many newspaper staffs can do the same things to get ideas and work together on a new concept. So first, we're always thinking about the calendar. What events and holidays are coming up that would make for a good advertising promotion? We have an extensive calendar of, of events on our website that lists hundreds of daily, weekly, and monthly events. There are all the big ones, but there's also small ones that can make for some very interesting promotion ideas, um, like the Pizza Month example I'm showing. Again, we also get ideas from customer requests and those are shared company-wide. So art, editorial, and design are all aware of our customers' needs. We had a customer ask for a specific garden gnome a while back that then turned into us creating a whole library of different themed gnomes for all seasons and holidays. So your request can really help us get content to all of our clients, and we really appreciate it. 
those gnomes were and still are very popular downloads. Um, and finally, of course, we get ideas, like Daryl said, from current news and trends. So once, once we have the idea, in this case, Pizza Month, we want to get some new content out for our customers to use. We start producing photos and art. Editorial then writes a number of new features around that topic, including recipes, which our recipes are very popular and especially useful with this theme. Um, and then our copywriters and designers come up with pages, ads, both for print and web, social media posts and contents, uh, contests to fit that theme. So once we have an idea, everyone works together to get that content produced and available for that theme. I think one place that really showcases our teams working together is our themed event pages. They're a mix of photos, art, coloring pages, puzzles, and they're all brought together under you know, that one idea or theme. So this Halloween page is a kids activity page with a coloring panel, jokes, and a word scramble um, with a couple of spaces for advertisers. The car care pro tips page has text already written in place for those car care tips with a potential advertiser who, who might give that kind of pro tip. All of this content is copyright free. So of course you can replace or change anything you know, to the advertiser's actual tips. But it's nice to have a, sp a starting point, maybe especially, you know, talking to a, a mechanic um, advertiser, you know, to, to just say, you know, I don't, not to put them on the spot. Can you give me some maintenance, maintenance musts, you know, and um, have like a starting text for them. Um, so it's nice to have that starting point. I'm also showing a breast cancer awareness page with a quick read, you know, actionable listicle style, um, style of article. So five ways to join the fight against breast cancer. And you can present any of these pages already laid out to an advertiser who would potentially, you know, like to take out an ad based on the topic. And if any salesperson or publisher on this webinar now or, or listening later, um, if, if you don't usually peruse our layouts, I'd encourage you to do so and, you know, for ideas and especially look through these themed event pages to get um, ideas on, you know, different advertisers you might want to try to get to sponsor one of these pages. That's great, Laura. I just want to jump in there. If I could just back to that slide for one sec, Jackie. Um, the themed event on the left, you know, in the creative department, we have so much fun every year with our Halloween content. You know, uh, the last quarter is holidays and it's fun. And after an action packed year, uh, it's kind of a, a nice fun time for us to create this content. Looking at the coloring panel there, I just want to mention that we have a deep archive of coloring content. A lot of customers create entire sections from fun and games that we have, um, coloring panels, a coloring contest can be a section, it can be run daily. Um, so there's all kinds of options there. The middle one that Laura described is really a great way to create an ask the expert uh, ad. You can literally insert a local advertiser into the editorial, making them the expert on this content. Or you can choose to parse it out uh, a little bit at a time. Um, all available print, web, social. One last thing that struck me as Laura was talking about that breast cancer awareness, it could certainly run like this. But something else that occurred to me, maybe you want to present a promotion for your breast cancer upcoming section where you include on your Instagram page, you know, one tip a day, uh, ways to join the fight against breast cancer. Tuesday could be number two and so on and so on. But it's all usable, all interchangeable. Um, and that's it. I just wanted to mention that. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I just wanted to show this, you know, our Halloween current very topical theme special section. We did get requests for more Hall Halloween content, editorial and ads. Halloween has become an almost $11 billion consumer spending industry. Um, 
it seems like any advertiser can get in on the holiday now doing some sort of Halloween promotion. People really, you know, are going all out, um, parties, costumes. Um, and so a section like this could be really useful for party ideas, craft ideas, things like that. Um, so we put together this 12 page mini section. Again, our art and editorial and design really comes together in these ready to use sections, you know, all of our departments, all of our elements together. Um, they're already created. So you can show an advertiser exactly where and to which article their ad can appear, you know, really giving them that premium ad placement. They can choose where they want their ad to show up um, if you already have it laid out. We also create matching rate cards and promo ads for readers and advertisers and social media posts. So you can really get the word out easily and promote the section. Putting these sections together is a real example of teamwork at Metro. We're currently coming up with our 2024 schedule and it's basically all hands on deck, um, compiling the requests from, from throughout the year, checking what's been hot in the newspaper industry, and you know, focusing on topics that are advertiser or sponsor friendly, because that's really what these special sections do. They can boost revenue if you sell enough ad spaces. So we want those topics where you know you can approach many different advertisers to make the selling a lot easier. Before you change the slide, Jackie, I just want to say one thing. Part of that eleven billion dollar retail spending for the Halloween holiday. Three billion of that is for pet costumes. So it's it's really it's really becoming quite popular. All right. And with that, our Halloween mini section is only $55. It really is a great deal. You can't beat that. Um, like Laura said, these the section consists of 12 pages uh, with about a half dozen articles. And again, you can preview it in its entirety. Just make sure you're logged in. If you do have any questions about that section or any others, feel free to contact me um, or let me know if it's something you want to go ahead and order. Okay. Work as a team on MCC. So there are different ways of sharing and communicating with your team using your Metro tools. You'll want to stay in the loop. And as we all know, being on the same page is really the best way to work as a team. To make better use of those tools, we'd recommend everyone is set up with their own username and password. Logins are unlimited and free. And we understand everyone brings something different to the table, so we want to help streamline that workflow. This would mean anyone in sales, creative, editorial, production, as well as outsourcers can be set up. And you can share anything you find on MCC. It could be images, spec ads, cover designs, or editorial content. And here are the three simple ways you can share. Um, so once you're taking a closer look at any one of our files, you'll see these three options come up. So on the left-hand side, we've got present, print, share. The files can be printed and they all do have a unique file name. Um, you'll notice your name would appear along the very bottom here. And there's also a space here for you to plug in any notes. So for example, a sales rep can easily print this and share with designers or production um, just for clear communication and to avoid any confusion. And these can also be shared with your advertisers. In the middle here, we have emailing a Metro file link. Your coworkers just need to be logged in in order to view the page you're sharing and to download. And along the right-hand side, we've got add to project. And this is sort of like a shopping cart. You can save anything you like. You can drop as many items as you'd like to. Uh, just keep yourself organized. And you can even share those projects with your coworkers just by selecting their name from the pull-down menu. Another way you can use these projects is when visiting your advertisers, you can simply prepare a project ahead of your visits. You also have several selling and planning tools for your meetings and brainstorming sessions. And these are very helpful when looking for ideas for your advertisers. One of my favorites would be the search book. 
Um, you can find it right on our homepage. And while we update our site weekly, our search book is a great visual guide. You can easily flip through the pages and it's packed with so many cool ideas. Um, so we definitely encourage you to take a look at these books each month. And I would say it's probably the best way to see all of the latest content for the month. Something you may want to consider is setting a goal. Um, maybe you want to choose five or 10 new concepts from the book each month just to keep things fresh. If you're looking for proven success stories provided by our customers, you'll definitely want to check out our Plus Business Success Stories. We do have a new story each month, and these are all archived under the Sales Tools Library on MCC. Um, and these can also be shared with your, your coworkers, your team. They're also a great resource. Let's say you have an idea, but you're maybe not so sure on how to execute it. So if you do have something in mind, um, simply go ahead and plug in your keyword and you can find those results. On the left-hand side here, we've got winning revenue ideas. And we recently hosted a best of the best ideas contest. And this would detail info on the winners and their profitable special sections, what inspired them and any strategies they used. Next to it, uh, we are highlighting a back to school section and the lessons they learned on making the section successful. It was recently revived using community feedback shifted focus to provide helpful information for both parents and students, whereas before they heavily focused on admin and staff. And all of these stories, by the way, um, were successful in generating thousands of dollars. So definitely um, take a stop and check those out. Can I just chime in yeah. real quick yes. here? Um, so I really like the way these are, are laid out. They're very simple, quick reads. We have, you know, the create, sell, profit. Um, so you're not gonna click on these and, you know, be sitting there reading for a very long time. They're, you know, very concise. Um, and in them too, it has uh, the contact information of the publisher. So um, if you have questions, you know, they've given us permission to put their email address and things on there. So, you know, it's really just a great way to share ideas and help everyone out. Yeah, and these can also be printed um, and shared with your teams as well, so. Teamwork coming and from like different newspapers, you know, working yeah. together with other newspapers and sharing exactly. ideas. It's a team and a team and a team. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, another great tool is the promo calendar. In addition to helping with your workflow and planning ahead of time, these are perfect for creating prospect lists. We have got all kinds of monthly, weekly, and daily events along with your best sellers. Um, so it does give you hundreds of promotional opportunities. And they can also be a really fun way to give your advertisers more reasons to advertise and to keep your readers engaged. And for, for example, and, and just in keeping with today's teamwork theme, October 27th is Cranky Coworkers Day. So you know who you are. <laughs> so I feel like that event alone can be used for so many different advertiser types. Uh, for example, local bars can promote this by offering a Cranky Coworkers Hour. And I'm sure it's an event that could gain popularity. Um, other advertisers that come to mind are gyms, yoga studios, and maybe delis and coffee shops. Um, so make sure that you do take the time to check out our calendar. And by the way, these calendar pages can be printed and handed to your customers. And you can find these on our homepage under calendar and just select your month. Uh, for support, you can always count and turn on our, uh, to our emails. These are filled with a lot of great tips um, and ideas to offer to your advertisers, along with information on what you've got access to. We keep these all archived under support, email ideas, and communications. And there are different categories like what's due this week, and I didn't know you had this. And actually, a lot of the times when I help our customers set up their teams with logins, they do ask to make sure that their staff is going to be receiving those emails. And I feel like it would be an easy way to keep their teams inspired, um, as well as aware of what's available with their Metro subscription. 
For even more support, you can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one webinar with customer service. We're always happy to help you. Um, we also have a page with all of our quick tip video tutorials, as well as our live training webinars. So if you missed any one of those, you can certainly go back and check them out. Um, some of the topics we've had are support and strategy for creative pros, every benefit you didn't know you had um, in just 30 minutes, and strategic special section program planning. So make sure you check those out. Um, and that would conclude today's webinar. Thank you for your time. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email us, give us a call. Um, and there is a quick survey at the end. If you don't mind taking a couple of minutes of your time, we would really appreciate that. And I just want to say one thing as well, Jackie, please do not hesitate to contact us directly for any content needs, images, uh, editorial, et cetera. We are here for you and looking forward to hearing from you. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Thank you. Enjoy Bye, the rest everybody. of your day. Bye guys.